past few years I've had some like pretty bad hormonal acne and I feel like my skin is like finally like clearing um like pretty well uh, and so I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that I'm wearing like very little makeup today um I and I also um for those of you that like struggle to find a good foundation which has definitely been my story I pulled the trigger on that Il Maquillage um, makeup a while back, which is like, it's been like heavily marketed on social media, um, and I actually just found out that um, it, it's a Pacific Northwest company, which is like where I live. Um, I was wondering why I got the products like so quickly after ordering them, um, but honestly, it's worked like really, really well for me. Um, and like doesn't club my pores and stuff. So if you're looking to try a new foundation, I, this is not like an actual sponsorship plug, but I just feel like it actually hasn't irritated my skin in the same way that others have that I've tried over the like while well, I've been dealing with hormonal acne. So thought I would give it a shout. Um. So yeah. So. I have decided to like, um, I'm back in school right now finishing my bachelor's and basically all I have left, um, I needed some upper division credits, but mostly I just needed like two years of language. And so I'm done with all those upper division credits and I just have like three more classes of Spanish left and I could have done it like all intensely and super fast over the summer. But that sounded horrible. <laughs> like, it sounded like immersion without being on location. And, um, uh, it just sounded really intense. Um, I already feel like the classes move super fast. So, I'm just gonna do it over the next year, slowly, like, term by term. Um, but all of this to say that I've decided to, like, take the summer off, um, and, like, not even get a um, uh, I do, like, restaurant work and, um, other types of, like, customer service, too, um, but I think I'm gonna wait until the fall to get a job like that because my plan is to really double down and invest on our channel here, um, I feel like any time I do that for a few weeks, um, we get some, like, pretty obvious growth, um, but I've just never been able to, like, sustain that effort for very long because, because life, you know, so, um, but I have the time and, um, and I'm just really looking forward to it because, um, for a lot of reasons, first of all, because I love you guys and I love ASMR and I, like, so very much believe in its benefits, um, but also, uh, th those of you that have been around for a while know that, um, at the end of last year and beginning of this year, I was dealing with some pretty serious health problems and, um, not all of which I, I ended up in the hospital like twice with, um, the, this like intestinal, um, basically my intestines were like malfunctioning and, um, and that like went away on its own both times, but uh, they never really figured out why that was happening. And so in order to like ensure that it wasn't, um, you know, like there wasn't a, like a, a growth or a cancer or something that was like causing this to happen that they couldn't see on scans, they did a laparoscopic surgery. Um, and I actually don't know if I've ever talked about this, but I basically found out, uh, and uh, so after that surgery, I was still in a lot of pain and I had an endoscopy and they told me that I was like severely celiac, like the gastro that did it. He said, I've like never seen celiac this bad before, which is insane because I heart gluten. 
like, no, they didn't, like, act, they only, like, they didn't actually go in to my intestines in any way during the surgery. It was totally, like, preventative and, like, diagnostic. So they didn't even do anything. They were just, like, making sure that I was okay, basically. And I was. Um, so what, so basically, I think I had this surgery that ultimately I didn't need and caused me to become extremely, extremely celiac. <laughs> so, um, so I have been gluten-free now for like six months and that's, it's been okay for me, honestly. Like, I, I am more of like a, a treat sweets person than I am like a bread person. <laughs> Um, and there's more options in that department for, like, gluten-free stuff, I think, than if you, like, really love, I don't know, like, different breads. Um, and, uh, but anyway, so, all of this to say, I am so looking forward to, like, doubling down on our channel and focusing on ASMR, because I also feel like whenever I do that, I am really, like, become automatically more invested in just, like, my own self-care, um, because, like, even though I'm, like, totally better now, I do feel like I don't have the same energy, um, that I had before the surgery, and, um, like, I was talking to my partner this morning about it, and, um, I, I also have had, like, super bad allergies that seem, like, way, way worse since the surgery, and that stuff is all, like, autoimmune and allergies, and, like, it's all immune system-based, and it's all, um, uh, it can be, like, all related, so I think I'm just, like, more sensitive now than I was before the surgery, and, um, so, so basically I'm really looking forward to, like, doing nothing but ASMR and, like, taking care of myself and, like, kind of slowing down at least the other parts of my life and being with you all. So, um, yeah. Um, and then, uh, I did want to mention I've been getting more, I do have a Wizio account, which is, um, it's this website for content creators to create and sell custom videos, um, so that link is always in my description boxes below my videos, um, and I've been getting some more requests on there, um, and those are so fun for me to make because a lot of times those of you that request, like, have been around for a long time and it just feels like this extra special way to, like, you know, have a friendship with you, and, um, and yeah, so I've been getting some more requests on there, and if you submitted a request, like, at the end of last year, and I didn't get to it, the, the only reason I never did it was because by the time I was all better from all my health and stuff, I didn't want to, like, do a video and have the site charge you when you'd forgotten about the request, and I wasn't sure if you still <laughs> wanted it, so, so if that's your case, um, please know that I am fully paying attention and, um, back to, to making content, so if you still want that video, please know that, um, I genuinely didn't make it for your own benefit, not because I forgot, <laughs> um, yeah, and, uh, let's see, let's see, what else, what else, what else, what else, um, oh, yes, this is the other thing I wanted to tell you all about, so, I, um, I've talked a bit on here about, um, like, my ear eating videos, and, um, the, like, conundrum that creating them is, because, um, so, basically, YouTube, um, makes you mark your eating content as, like, um, as, like, part, as, like, inappropriate content when you are in their partnership, like, ad program. So, so they'll still, like, show it to some of their advertisers, but they won't show it to all of their advertisers, which means two things. It means, one, that they just don't show your video to as many people if you have money. 
the other thing I was going to say? Oh, um, so like the best case scenario when I make my ear eating videos is to completely turn off of monetization and, and by that I mean this like way to, to uh, reach the most viewers. Um, but then like so those are my best performing videos but I don't get paid for them. <laughs> um, and so that's like, you know, it's kind of like a constant. To be fair though, they are also easier to edit and um, like because there's not really a lot of talking and it's all like the same kind of sound, it's much easier for me to edit the audio. Um, so I don't really mind that. Um, uh, but it's, it is, I, oh, and so, this past week, I did an experiment because I have a few ear eating videos that, um, that I've just made, like a brand new, one of my homemade microphones. And so I spend the first part of the video, like, talking about that process and, like, talking about how I made it. And, um, and then we did get into, like, exploring the microphone and doing ear eating. And so I requested, because they had limited my, uh, my monetization on one of those, um, and I specifically chose one where it was, like, talking about the microphone and stuff, um, and I requested a human review, and it still came back. They, like, told me that I need to, um, tag it as, like, like, sexual content, <laughs> um, which, to be fair, like, I read through all the qualifications, and, like, they even have, like, if you have a YouTube channel where you, like, um, prepare meat, and there's, like, all kinds of, like, meat sounds on it, like, they include that in their, like, their, it's, like, um, sound-based, um, sexual content or something like that, so, um, but I, I've been, like, hesitant to request a human review because I didn't want it to be like a trigger for them to go through all my videos um, and like and maybe demonetize ones that were already approved by the automatic system because that has happened to like it's not um, it's totally inconsistent like I have other ear eating videos that are nothing but ear eating no talking whatsoever and some of those are fully monetized and were not did not trigger a limited monetization audit um so as you can imagine so i'm like trying to follow all the rules and mark them appropriately but it just feels like very pointless because it's so inconsistent <laughs> um but anyway so i think i think from now on i'll probably just turn monetization off on that content and, um, yeah, I mean, it just seems like not worth it, but anyway, I thought it was interesting. I kind of thought that when I requested the human review, since, like, I'd made my own microphone, I was talking all about that, and then was just, like, exploring the sounds that that microphone made, I kind of thought maybe, maybe I'd get away with it, but unfortunately, not so much in YouTube land. <laughs> Anyways, um, that is sort of all I wanted to chat about today. Just a quick, quick, quick hello and updates. And so, as always, good night, my dear. Good night. My sweet good night, my friend. Good night. Good night. Good night.